Hi, my name is Sahana. Hi, my name is Sean. Our, Our project, project is called Can Plants Survive Acid, Acid Rain? Rain? We wanted to do, we decided to do this project because we wanted to do a project that involved the environment. Our question was, how does acid rain in a plant's environment affect its growth? Our hypothesis was we think that the plants in a non-polluted environment will stay healthier. Acid rain is caused when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide are released into the air from factories. They mix with the clouds and when they run, when they, they're blown around with the wind, they come down as acid precipitation. Our procedure was we got six plants. We watered three with water for normal plants and we watered three with vinegar to represent acid rain and those were the polluted plants. We watered them each day for four days and on day four, the normal plants had sprouted flowers and the polluted plants were crispy and dry and they looked dead. In the end, our hypothesis was correct. The polluted plants looked dead, but on the other hand, the non-polluted plants looked good. We used vinegar with a pH of 2.0. Today, the pH of Acid rain is about 4.2 to 4.4. This means we should find ways to do better, to do things that are better for the environment. And as a bonus, we tried to bring the plants back to life. We watered all six plants with water, but the plants look the same as when they did when we watered them with vinegar. One of the fun facts is a reborn ecosystem of trout has been found in a lake in the Adirondack High Peaks Wilderness for the first time since the lake was declared fishless because of acid rain 32 years ago. Another question, has acid rain increased or decreased over the past 50 years? The answer Thank is decreased. Thank you. Thank you.